what is up everybody it's nasim here and welcome to my brand new video and in this video i am going to show you how you can set up ga4 and gtm for your woocommerce website this is my brand new wordpress woocommerce website and this is actually a demo website and i am using free hosting and free domain for this website so if you want to make this wordpress website complete free don't forget to check out this video description i will give all the information in there so now let's uh, go to google tag manager here you can see uh, this is the google tag manager container code and i already input this code under this website head tag so you of course you have to do the, the same so and google tag manager actually it's a smart way to install ga4 for any kind of website so and it's amazing you can install facebook and other social media uh, pixels in this one place because it's uh, connected with their website uh, with this uh, api html code so now uh, let's configure the google analytics code and here you can see i already open a container and this is my measurement code and let's uh, open the first tag which is google analytics for uh, configuration and we need to input our measurement id here so this is our measurement id and i am inputting here and this uh, trigger will be for all page and it's done and configure and save changes and uh, we i already uh, published uh, this tag and i need to submit this container then uh, this google analytics 4 and this google tag manager will be connected so for uh, seeing this we i need to go on the debug view and here it is this is the debug view and i am going to uh, preview mode of this website so this is the website url here and click on continue and then you can see this is the preview mode of google tag manager and it's connected and uh, it's connected and if i go back the google container uh, it's a ga4 debug view uh, i need to refresh it it should connect with uh, the website so sometimes it needs few uh, minutes to uh, doing this but don't worry it will work because here is successfully uh, connected so now let's uh, make the all e-commerce event because without making all e-commerce event uh, you can't get any e-commerce data like you will get only the default uh, event that uh, by default google analytics will capture which is e scroll or site search uh, download etc but it's not important for uh, woocommerce so that's why we need to uh, configure uh, add to cart view items and check out and then purchase so for doing this uh, uh, here you can see it's uh, not connected here uh, of course but it will work but let now let's uh, see uh, the product so here is the product page when this is very important for e-commerce business owner to see how many people are uh, viewing this uh, product with the and wise product they actually are visiting and wise product is popular in this website so for doing this uh, we need to configure a new tag for event uh, which is just click on new and j4 event now and we need to configure our configuration tag and we need to use the event name here so wise event we will use here uh, if i go on the preview mode i am seeing here is the 
a uh, view event and here is the information that all the here so i am using this name as a event just copy it and paste it and on i need a parameter which is uh, items it's google recommended uh, if i go to here and which on actually items and we need to add data layer variable um, which is data layer variable and we need to configure e-commerce dot items uh, if i use this code as a data layer configure uh, this uh, variable actually capture all the information are here so that's why we need uh, these items which is actually i am going to give it the name here which is items variable and set changes and this uh, items is made and i need to make a trigger and the trigger name will be uh, select custom event and trigger will be at uh, this exact same so copy it from here and paste it here and custom event you can give this a uh, name here and that's it and i am using cf4 view items event so that's it our view item uh, event is ready now let's uh, tie it let's check it out so if i go on the preview mode again of this website is opening and see here it's uh, not showing the result here and i am going to refresh again and and here it is it's now connected so uh, let's check on the product page we already made our uh, view items tag and it should fire and you can see it's fired if i click on this event and if i want to see the data why is actually all the product he captured so why is this completely wrong so that's why we need to check our data layer which is event so you can see it's uh, actually uh, collected all the product here which is under this all but we don't need to track that all so that's why we will use a tricks in our variable section uh, which is now go to variable and go to items and we need to input g dot zero and that's it actually uh, for the javascript variable uh, it will count from zero so that one actually our product uh, with the value 169 and you can check all 69 and all the rest of this product are wrong so that's why we need to track this kind of information and who is uh, is actually number zero product so let's uh, go to preview mode again and check out the product page so this is the product page and you can see this side is opening and i'm sorry uh, because i am using the free version of hosting so that's why it's a little slow but uh, you should manage it <laughs> so let's go on the product page again so the product page is opening and you can see our tag is not fired yet so uh, it should fired now so it's not fired uh here it is it's fired and let's check the information and this actually the right thing 
so now it's captured one product with all the dynamic information now it's time to track add to cart so this is our add to cart event so for add to cart it's actually the same for the variable as well so that's why i am going to uh, copy this uh, so let's make a tag which is event event name will be add to cart give add to cart and here we need to pass our uh, items variable so items actually this items variable and trigger will be uh, custom trigger and trigger will be add to cart so add to cart so our add to cart is ready as well so and then we need to track check out so if i go to here and check out this event then i will see a begin check out event so we need to track as well so open new event and new tag and select the keep the name and make a trigger which is custom event i am doing fast but you can pause this video and try to it uh, and we need to pass the same variable the variable will be same for all event okay so keep it and here check out and save it and now our main thing is purchase so let's input all information and i am using cash on delivery and let's purchase this product so if i go on the purchase so this is the purchase event and we need to uh, pass all the data from here so i will use purchase event so let's make a new tag uh, select tag and which is purchase and we need multiple variables for this purchase event and select it's a purchase event versus and first of all uh, we will use the items the items will be this variable and then we need currency currency and currency will be uh, e-commerce dot just copy and paste currency that's it guys but you don't have to input here we need a data layer variable so that's why i make a data layer variable and input the code here so currency and then we i import our important is transaction id so transaction id will be uh, make another data layer variable actually uh, we are capturing data from data layer variable and because we need all the data dynamically so that's why we need to use this information so e-commerce dot transaction id so just give a name transaction id and keep it 
and another important uh, we will use the value so this is value and make data layer variable which is e-commerce dot value hello that save changes and i want to track this shipping cost as well so shipping and make another data variable uh, which is uh, shipping so first copy the e-commerce then click dot and then shipping uh guys this uh, code is very important but this name is not important so that's why you need to uh, do this uh, co uh, copy the and paste it here because if you do any mistake it will not work and here is not important you can uh, give any new here so that's why you need to keep in mind that so that's all i want to uh, keep uh, this simple but you can use all uh, I uh, and that's it. I am going to use e-commerce event and purchase, and that's it. That's all for today. If you found this video was helpful for you, don't forget to give thumbs up. And if you want to see more video from me, then subscribe to my channel. I will see you on the next video. Till then, bye. Have a good day.